All right, welcome back. We know President Obama's bailout plan is coming, but who is the plan designed to help and who will actually receive funding right away? Also, another big question for San Diegans is how will the bailout plan affect the housing market nationally and locally? It's a big question on everybody's mind right now. Eric Rice from Dyer Beach is here with us this morning to break Thank it all down because we know that it's out there and you can read all the fine print, but uh, you're going to kind of break down exactly what's going to happen. Let's talk about first where um, where is the money going to go to right away? When are us Americans actually going to see the money coming back as a bailout? Well, number one, everyone's focusing on the housing market. That's the number one thing people talk about. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, with this bailout plan, it's $786 billion, and less than 10% is going back into the housing market. Less mm -hmm. than 10%. So okay. we're making a big deal about it, and actually really isn't any, anything near what we did before. Uh, mm -hmm. A little over $400 billion have been spent or, or, or wasted to this point in time. But the uh, $75 billion right now is really focused on helping out responsible borrowers who are on time. It's called a, sh a short refinance is what they're really trying to push. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, people, instead of short selling and losing their home, you can actually short refinance and keep your home. Okay, so for our viewers this morning who are watching, they're thinking, okay, where am I going to see the money coming in, or where am I going to see it maybe the big bucks? taken out? Yeah, where, where, where can they see the money um, adding up and maybe minusing from their accounts? With you will see $2.22 per day. If you're a okay. taxpaying American, uh, you're going to get $400. Being taken out or being coming in? Coming in, okay. Coming in. Uh, very similar to what uh, Bush did with the $300 and $600 tax credit for uh, individuals and families. Uh, President Obama is actually doing the same, but at 400 and 800. So if you break it down, it's $2.22 per day for every American. Okay, not bad. That's an extra coffee maybe each day, right? Sort of. <laughs> I think they're 450. Right. It's like half That's a coffee. That's true. They're getting more expensive. Um, so let's go back to the housing market, though, because sure. something that we're all very concerned about here in San Diego with mm -hmm. um, our market um, experiencing a lot of problems right now. Um, how, I mean, people that are in the process of maybe going through a foreclosure, where is there any help from for them in this bailout plan? In the bailout plan, yes. Uh, they are putting a moratorium or, or a stoppage on foreclosures in certain states. Okay. However, people are thinking that the bailout plan is forcing banks to do this and forcing banks to do that. They really can't. Mm -hmm. They're suggesting it and they're making it a very hard suggestion. Uh, however, they can't force them to do anything to help you out. What people are doing, especially with us, is they're working on their entire ripple effect mm -hmm. of their finances, right? If you mess up in one area, say you're, you've got a, a tough loan and it adjusted on you and that's a big problem. It's actually causing problems throughout your entire personal finances, right. all the way through your insurance policies. Okay. That's what people should be doing in this market, is focusing on themselves and not waiting for the government to come and knock on your door and say, how can I help you? Because that doesn't happen often. So it's a nice idea that it's a complete bailout, but we all still need to take responsibility for what Absolutely. our actions have been or what they may be. Um, as, far, as far as people who maybe are looking to buy homes right now, mm -hmm. is there some help, some incentives now to buy in this Yesterday market? Yesterday they with just, this came bailout? Out, okay. just came out with affordability rates. Mm -hmm. um, that, and affordability rates between you and I are kind of a uh, a misleading number, but they right. said 64% of all homes that are on sale right now are considered affordable by the U.S. economy. That depends if you qualify for the loan. Right. So if you do, 64% of the market is great for you right now. Mm -hmm. However, I think the big, big problem in the housing market that people are overlooking that is, is I think, well, a big problem, it's a, it's a great problem. Uh, they're doing almost $10 billion in funding to private companies to help rehabilitate homeowners, which is what our company does. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a phenomenal opportunity to get out there and help people. Okay, well, a lot of, thank you for breaking that down, but still, I'm sure a lot of people want to know more about this bailout Certainly. plan. Of course, if you'd like more information, you can go to our website, sandiego6.com, and you can get more information from Eric Rice in Dyer Beach. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. All right, and now a look at our beautiful forecast, at least for now. I know sprinkles might be on the way, but Brooke Landau is here.